So far, we have updated the section one and section two of the body. Now let's come to the section three, which is why students should trust you. In the section, you need to include mainly three basic things. Number one part that is why you started uh, your journey. A very short note of your journey. You can add it over here. So here you can see that I have added a small story. The second uh, important point that you need to include is social proof. And the third is of course testimonials. So uh, let's see how to do that. Right now for this purpose, I'm going to remove this section. So let me hover my mouse onto this black icon. Uh, go ahead and delete this one. So I have removed this. Let me keep this section. And but I don't want this particular part. So I want to keep the header uh, part. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, reduce the gap over here. And let's reduce the gap over here as well. And I don't want uh, these uh, boxes. So for example, I'll select this uh, black color box and then delete it. So this is deleted. And uh, let me go ahead and scroll it over here. So right now, what I have done is created a section. So why trust us? And uh, the next is, this is the social proof I want to give. Uh, let me change the copy. Here I have replaced the text for the social proof. So I have reused uh, this particular part. Maybe you can add a slider over here. To do a slider, you have to hover your mouse onto the right and uh, select this black color option. And here select the first option, right? The setting option. And here you can make it as, select the last one, which is make it as a slider. So this way the uh, images will automatically slide and uh, you can replace it with uh, any other relevant image that you want. Here you can even control the speed of the slider. For example, once you make it as a slider, you will get this slider option. You can go here and here you can set this option to auto play. And here you can control the speed. So I have kept it at three, which is the default and that is fine. And let's scroll down. So what's your investment? Okay, so this is something I don't want. So let's uh, go to the uh, right side, select this option and select the delete option. Again, this option, okay, I can add a uh, news. Okay, something I don't want. Okay, again, I'll go and delete. And finally, subscribe to our newsletter and stay updated. Okay, I don't have a newsletter, so let's delete this. And we would love to hear from you. And this is also a very good option. You can check this out and you can go ahead and delete this option as well. Now there is one more option that you need to add, which is the testimonial. To do that, let's hover your mouse here. You will find the plus symbol, right? So let's click on the plus symbol. And this automatically takes us to the blocks. Scroll down within the blocks and here you will find the testimonial option. Here you can select any of these testimonials. So let's select this one because this looks good. So let's select this option. Uh, you just have to click on it and within a minute you will see that the testimonial has been uh, created. Right, so now uh, you might have this thing like, okay, only three cards are available. What if you have three more cards you need to add? So how to do that? Now to do that again, uh, you just have to hover your mouse to the right. And here again, you will click on this settings option, which is the first one. You select that, you make it as a slider. So again, this creates a slider and you can see that we have created two more cards. Now, what if you want to put more cards? So again, you go here and you select this option and here you can find a copy option. You can click on this option. So this will now create the third card. Let's go to the slider and here you can make it to auto play and uh, let it be there. Uh, now, one thing that is missing is the call to action. Let's insert a call to action. You click on the plus symbol, uh, blocks will open up and there is one uh, block called as CTA. This is call to action. Let's select this option. So this looks very good, which is clean and uh, this is a single call to action. So you can go ahead and select this option and this inserts the call to action. So here within the call to actions, I've changed the copy of the text and here I've inserted the call to action as sign up now. So let's click on uh, this button and let's click on the link option and here let's insert the sign up option. So this we have copied from our academy. This is the sign up link. Let's uh, copy and paste it over here. And as always, let's put it on a new tab. So this way we have kind of customized almost all the important elements within the body.